Nuclear Day is a mobile survival game set after a nuclear war, and wow is it interesting. What is up my dwellers of the interwebs, I'm Sorsin, and welcome to my channel. Please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you like my content, and hit that bell icon to stay up to date on all my upcoming videos. And if you're watching this on TapTap.io or on the TapTap app, I hope you'll consider following my profile as well. Nuclear Day's gameplay is that of a survival game where you must gather supplies and materials to keep yourself going after the events of a nuclear war. You must go from place to place that gets unlocked on your map and scavenge as much as you can. Gather materials to craft better clothing, tools for all kinds of things like opening doors that have been barred shut or for digging through rubble that has blocked your path. You can even craft weapons for the enemies you, that you are sure to meet as well. The game is a 2D style side-scrolling game and you just have to move from left to right in order to navigate the different locations. You can also sneak and sprint, though your sprint does drain your stamina. So far, I've found plenty of resources including food and water, but the biggest thing I struggled with was storage space while scavenging. The beginning backpack only had 12 slots and they got filled up very quickly, especially considering a lot of the items could only be stacked between 2 to 4 items each. So it was very easy to fill up the 12 slots. I personally think stacks of 4 is very limiting, but it does add to that survival difficulty. It didn't take me too long however to find a backpack that I could equip which increased my storage up to 20 slots. So that was really nice. For the most part, there was a lot of back and forth between going from your shelter to the places of interest. Bringing the items you had found to your shelter to store it. Something I noticed that was really nice was the fact that you didn't need to take out crafting materials from the lockers when you store the items. The crafting bench will show you how many items you have stored so you can always keep track of what you still need to get or what you can already craft. This is a really nice feature and avoids extra steps when it comes to crafting items. There is of course a hunger and thirst counter as with any survival game and so far I haven't had had too much difficulty when it came to finding food and water, though I did notice that a lot of the food I had does have an expiration date, so I think I might be in trouble in a few in-game days time. The game also does change the environment from time to time. When I was in the supermarket the first time, there was no girl hanging there. But when I returned the second time, there was a girl who had hung herself who wasn't there before. It definitely did surprise me because I wasn't expecting things to change like that. I thought that was pretty cool though. It also seems there is weather effects because a storm suddenly was heard outside the supermarket on my second visit. There is an energy system in the game sadly and I didn't notice it at first. I didn't actually realize it until I had spent all my energy from all the traveling back and forth. But I guess it is bound to happen pretty quickly when you have limited storage space and need to stock up on as much as possible. You can add an extra turn by watching an ad however, or you can just log out of the game and come back later when your energy has replenished itself. The game does have ads while playing. They don't show up right away, but when they do, they do start to become a regular occurrence. As I said earlier, you can also watch an add to add an extra turn to your energy. There is also a cash shop as well where you can buy energy drinks which will replenish your energy and you can also actually find energy drinks in the game too. I drank one that I found previously and my energy went back to 100 and I had a limited time where I was able to sprint without losing stamina. But don't expect to find plenty of energy drinks in game. But the fact that you can find them is a nice thing to give to those who are free to play. You can also earn 10 premium currency for free daily from watching an ad as well. Visually, this game is pretty decent. As a 2D game, the artwork is really good. I love the art style and it doesn't look low quality either. This game has a great aesthetic to it and I think you will be pleased for sure. Overall, I'd say that Nuclear Day is probably one of my favorite survival games on mobile devices so far and I was so glad to see that it wasn't another build the city type of survival game that I always see on the mobile store. This game is exactly what it advertises itself to be, a survival game where you must survive on your own and find everything you need to make it through another day. While the energy system is a bit disappointing, the fact that you can get some free energy drinks in game to help it along is a nice touch. But for the most part, this game will not be one you play non-stop thanks to the energy system. Such a shame really because it is such a fun game and I'd love to keep playing it. 
script. The English translation does seem a bit off at times and I've read some funny wording while reading notes or when talking to NPCs that I've found, but it's not so bad that it's hard to understand. You should be fine with the translations for the most part. All in all, this is a game I'd love to continue playing as a casual game to play on and off. If you think you would enjoy a game like this, you should definitely give it a shot. Download it now if you do. So there you have it. That's my first impression on Nuclear Day. Thank you for watching. I'm Sorosin. Have a fantastic day. Feel free to follow me on all my socials. Links are all in the description and pinned comment below.